Good morning, investors. I'm Stuart Cruz, and we are on Momentum Wednesday to help get over that uh, midday week hump. And boy, do we need it after election results on Tuesday. And the reality is we still don't have a president. And it's not a surprise. We knew that. But what I am finding surprising is as I've been reporting for the last 90 days, is the S&P 500 is very, has been a very good predictor of who will be the future president. When the incumbent wins, the S&P is up on average of 6%. When the incumbent loses, the S&P is down an average of 2%. And 90 days prior to the election, here's the chart from our friends at White Charts, and we're looking at the markets are down 1.24%, or I'm sorry, up 1.24%, which is right in the middle of those two numbers, pretty much. So we don't know who the president is. The S&P said, we don't know who the president's going to be. And that's kind of where we're at right now. And even if you looked out what, a day before, that's, you know, right at 2%. That's a little bit more than 91 days if we go the day after or the day of the presidency. Let's say go back three months from today. You're looking at oh, 4%. So um, big rally in the markets today. But anyway, I find that fascinating that the S&P was still kind of spot on in the fact that, hey, we didn't know. But we're talking about momentum Wednesdays, and here we are. So the best momentum sectors so far are, and let's look at a three-month chart. We got the home builders in number one, technology number two, retail number three, and as reported last week, consumer discretionary came in at number four. So we're looking at um, home builders with a clear lead uh, being up 12% over a three-month period and six-month period killing it. And those are tends to be the um, periods that tend to work three and six months for momentum. But let's just talk specifically about the home builders. And I have all my home builders up here right now. Um, we can click off these and go one by one. The lead home builder in a six month period right now is Floor and Decker. So home builder stocks are up 59% in a six month period. Floor and Decker, of course, is the number one momentum stock within that sector is winning. Top build, Toll Brothers, Lowe's, and if you recall, here we go at Lowe's up 61%. And if we go to a three month chart, we had a uh, video about Lowe's versus Home Depot. I'm gonna put on Home Depot. So here we have Lowe's in the uh, purple. And if we add Home Depot on there, um, Home Depot comes in, in the brown. We said buy Lowe's over Home Depot and Home Depot has underperformed not only Lowe's but underperformed the S&P 500. We said that as a result of our QVP buying. So let's take Home Depot off and go on to DR Horton. All of these stocks are up considerably. Uh, only DR Horton is not beating the S&P or not beating that sector for three months. But if we go to six months, it is winning out. So those are the lead stocks in the leading momentum sector for Momentum Wednesdays to help you get over that midweek hump. And hopefully we'll have, we'll have a president um, at some point in the near future because the markets hate uncertainty. So, um, and with the you know divided House and Senate, we can be sure to have some sort of gridlock. And that's what the markets tend to like is not a whole lot of rule changes, some more certainty in the future. So that's probably why the S&P is up today, even with an uncertain presidential election. This is Stuart Cruz with Cruz Asset Management, reminding you and all of our clients to live your life with the odds in your favor.